Hello my YouTube friend, this is Now Mechanic here and today we are going to be painting a 2010 Kia Soul Fender I am going to be doing it with spray cans I'm going to show you everything you need The first thing we're going to do is we're going to prep Number two we're going to prime Number three we're going to paint And number four we're going to put the clear coat on it So I'm going to show you everything we need for this project let me show you the setup I created. I created this tent inside my garage. The reason why I have that tent there is because it is windy out here. And inside there, if I paint in there, it's not windy. So that's where I'm going to be painting it. Also, here goes the fender is already primed. And what you're going to need, what I'm going to be using is, I'm going to be using the gloss from Rustoleum, the Clist to Clear. I'm also going to be using the Restorium Prime Sandable Primer. I'm also going to be using this totally awesome um, product. It's a degreaser. It's only a dollar and it works very well in plastic. Also, I'm going to be using this Perfect Match Colors. It's for another car or model. The reason being I'm using that is because I couldn't find the one for the Kia. And I'm hoping that those two colors, that color will match this bumper here or at least as close as possible you're also going to need i don't think i'm going to be using the sprayer but it's there just in case you're also going to need some ultra fine hand sanding pad and this is almost equal to 600 and this is what we're going to be doing we're going to be sanding that i'm going to be wet sanding it so let's get started with this So once you finish sanding it down, what you want to do is you want to get a clean rag and you want to start cleaning it up with some degreaser. Start cleaning it up. Once you clean it, you wait till it dries and you're going to start putting your primer. Once we have cleaned it up, took the grease out with the degreaser, make sure it's clean. Take your primer, make sure you shake it well, make sure you have a mask on. I don't have a painter's mask, so I'm using this one for now to cover me. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do my light coat. I'm going to go around the edges first, very lightly. I think I'm gonna go use the Restoleum spray. Just to, to the sprayer, I think it'd be much better for me. I'm gonna be putting light coat.
I'm gonna wait till this dries up for 10 minutes and I'll be back to add another coat. We're gonna put the second coat of primer on it. It looks good just like this. I don't think I ever done this good on it. So we're gonna do our second coat on it with the primer. Once again, you wanna go lightly. So now I'm gonna let it dry. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sand it again with the sandpaper, and then I, when, I, when I come back, we're gonna paint it. So I gave it three coats of primer, and I did what I did in the beginning. I sanded it down, and I cleaned it with the degreaser. Now we're gonna be painting it. And I'm gonna do the same process I did before. I'm gonna start at the edges, and go from there. I'm hoping that this color that I picked is the right color. So here we go. I'm gonna wait, you wanna give it a light coat? Gonna wait till it dries, and I'll be right back. A little bit more heavier on the second coat. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give it three coats of paint and I'll be right back. I put three coats of paint and it's coming out just beautiful. Um, wait, I waited 10 minutes before I put it, I apply another coat of paint and now I waited 30 minutes before I put the clear coat. The same method, go lightly the first time and then go heavier on the next one. I'm gonna let this dry and apply another coat of clear. Now I'm gonna apply my second coat of clear. In this one, I'm gonna go a little heavier.
I'm gonna apply two more coats of it, and we're gonna come back and see how this fender came out. Here goes the finished product. It came out very, very, very good. I think I did good with matching of the color. It's almost identical. Maybe this one is a little brighter. But look, I think I matched it. I think I did a good job with this thing. Four clear coat. And this is how it came out. It's gonna it's gonna go right in here. This is the good job just with a couple of cans of spray can. So once again, this is non mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me on nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if non mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.